Damn. There goes Jessica. And then that Sam just... That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've Why? I've been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. This scene was so fucked up. I still can't get over it. Jessica! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Yeah, could he been hiding there? And am I... What the hell is going on on my screen? Hey, yo, this game is glitching. Like, this game is so scary that my lantern is bugging out. Like, dead ass. Okay. You know what? That's a sign for me to stop playing this game. That's it. I hate these noises. I hate these noises. I mean, don't get don't get me wrong. I like playing this game. I just don't like this specific scene and that I'm dealing with. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, what's this? A camera? Okay. A broken camera. Let me see what this says here. <clears throat> the lens of this camera is smashed. It looks like someone did this on purpose. Dun dun dun! Woo! And there it goes. My lantern glitching again. Yo, what is that noise? I really don't appreciate all this growling and shit. I actually don't want to be here. I don't. But unfortunately, you know, Mikey. Uh, Mikey decided to just... I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, like did ass, I hate this. Okay, guess I can't go over this over to the store. Mm, no, I'm good. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go over here. See if I can find something. What's this? Minor medical report. Okay. Let me see here. Report follows the initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue. Cute. Let me read, please. Shh. Anyways. <clears throat> rescue at Blackwood Pine. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emancipated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function. You know, I don't appreciate all this noise. Can you stop? I'm trying to read. <clears throat> function was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of re integration has been difficult for some of the group though their outward health is better than expected they do seem affected by their time in the mine well no shit if you're in the dark for 23 days 
do you really expect to be sane still? Like, come on. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of strepo... I don't know. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. One of the, those guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen. What? Let me check the clues I found. Hold on. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, though some had. Yeah, basically. It's just reports. The report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clock-in cards retrieved from the vine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just digest what I just read. So there were 30 miners trapped, but they only found 12. And when they received the 12 miners, the hospital staff was expecting starved and confused men. But they were quite the opposite. Healthy and their bellies were full due to quote-unquote emergency food supplies in the mine. So you mean to tell me you had enough emergency supplies for the next 23 days and 12 out of the 30 received or had the opportunity to get said emergency food supplies? Something's not adding up. Something is not adding up here. That's bullshit. Because if there were some emergency supplies that would last 23 days, I would expect the whole 30 crew members from the mines to survive. So that that is really suspicious. Very suspicious to me. Uh where to go from here? Let me go down here. See if I can find something. Oh my god, I hate this. I I don't want to go down here. Am I walking into the basement? I don't like the music. I do not like... Can you stop it with the music, please? I do not like the music. A bird? Oh, it's a machete! Hell yeah, I'll take that! Oh, shit. Gross. Come on, Mikey. Take take the weapon. <laughs> shit. I feel a lot better. Nice. I'm pretty happy. Now, is there a way for me to go? No, there's no way for me to go upstairs. Of course. Oh my god, I hate the music. No. I don't like this. Okay, so this is obviously a dead end here. So let me uh, move away. Oh my god, I hate I hate the noises. Can you stop? I like this is hearing noises like that really freaks me out. It causes my anxiety to go from like a level one to a level ten in a hot second. So, I'm just, I don't know, I just, I just don't like this. Woo! Oh my god, it's just, it's one of the dogs. I'd rather deal, ooh, that, I don't, I don't like how there's a skull here. 
my all right dead end i got met though i do i do like the camera angle in this so good job until dawn like very interesting camera angles and i do see that there's a library next to me of some sort or maybe an office so i'm going to go in there actually so let me just go back look in here see if i can find any more clues Ooh, i knew it i knew there was something here okay let me see reply immediately reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs telegram about miners press snooping around this paradise a telegram warning about press interest in survivors brought to the sanatorium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. To Mr. J. Bragg, incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood becoming a problem. Please advise further. Okay. That's pretty interesting. So, it seems to me like I was not the only one who finds all of this is suspicious. Because think about it. You have 30 people trapped in the mines, right? And you have emergency food, but only 12? Of the 30, get to eat it? And it's like, oh, well, what if they, what if some of them die on impact? Then why was it known that? You know what? I'm just gonna walk away. No, I'm not going to touch that. I'm sorry. Because I played this game before and I vaguely remember that my fingers end up getting cut off. So this place just gets better and better. Whoa, what is that? A disfigured human head suspended in formaphodite. So yeah, I remember when I actually did interact with that arm thing that's moving and I end up chopping off my fingers because it was caught so fuck off I don't remember that part I'm not doing that oh no 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 you gotta be kidding me Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, look! I found a card! That's awesome! Ipiayo Kaye, I just did my main mission here. Okay, let's check this out. God bless. That's disgusting. Wait, there's another one here? Yeah, you know what? Since I have no to little respect, I'm gonna snoop around all of these dead bodies to see if there's any other clues. This one's empty with a paper? Okay. Death certificate. A hastily written death certificate dated 24th February 1952. It describes the body as partially eaten? Name of deceased, Sarah Smith. Date of death, February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952. And last saw her alive on February 4th, 24th, 1952. 
cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to external causes, violence, fill in also the following. Accident, suicide or homicide, homicide, manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes, please use the box provided overly for any additional relevant information. On reverse, additional notes. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. I am so fucking done. I am so fucking done. Okay, what does this door say? Eaten. Oh my god. You mean to tell me? Hold on, hold on. I just realized something. You mean to tell me that. The hell is this? Okay, it's a name tag. A mortuary tag, the name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Emergency medical tag. Name Nicholas Bowen, tag date February 24th, 1952. Description, attack by inmate. Fatal lacerations to throw. Nah. 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 This. Alright. I have my theory now. The 12 miners that were being brought to this place. The ones that have the full healthy bellies with mental health issues. It was a legit emergency food. It was legit the remaining 18 people that they decided to- <laughs> Oh my god, that shit scared me. I am so Oh my god. 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 That shit scared me. Oh, it's the guy from earlier. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so, um, at least I'm safe here for now, which is good. Um, all right, um, that dog, wolf, whatever the thing is, really did scare me, so let's go back. Yep, let's go back. So I'm thinking the remaining miners became some sort of a cannibal and started eating the other patients. Because here's the thing, the nurses, they received the miners and they were expecting them to be starving and delirious. But their bellies were full. Come on, you know they must have eaten their other... their other... Mi minor co-workers, like... Because for the for the other patients to be attacked and eaten, 
Just like that? Como si na? Like their baby back ribs. Like their rice and beans with a plate full of- Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. You know what? The dog didn't do anything to me. Like, if he would have attacked me, he would have been done that. That's why I'm not doing anything. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. He didn't even attack me. Okay. Alright. It's okay. That's a good boy. That's right. It's okay. Easy. It's alright. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. And everyone likes a little loving, right? You know, I'm really surprised that the dog didn't become hostile or aggressive with me at all. So, whoever trained that dog did a fantastic job. Like, I'm like really surprised. Ooh, what's this? So, what have we here? Nice little jacket, yeah, that's for sure. Finally. Is that a weapon? <laughs> yeah, let's let's move this thing. Bingo. Slick. Nice. Pretty slick. Now I got a weapon. I got a backup weapon and I got a legit weapon, so not too bad. And let me see here. It seems like. Ooh, what's this? Uh, the Stogie stash exposed. A wooden cigar box. Only a single cigar is left. It has a distinctive brand label. Yeah, that's the same one that we found in the cave back a couple episodes. And let's see what's in this box. I'm just curious. Then again, curiosity killed the cat, so... I swear to God, if this is a jump scare, I'm literally about to punch my TV. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, so a dog bone. Okay, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. A little snacky snack. Cause the dog's been a really good boy with me. Not attacking me or anything like that. So I'm gonna give him a little snacky snack as a way of saying thank you for not ripping my face apart. Like what most dogs would do. Okay, I don't think, I don't think there's anything else over here. Let me see if I'm able to give the dog the bone, because... Hey, he happy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Aww. That's so cute. Easy, boy. Easy. Nice. The dog's happy. So with that being said, I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow that mysterious man because if not, how would I further the plot in this game? You know. I don't think there's anything else for me to grab here either. So. All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> Alright, this is... this is going good so far. What's this? A little chapel here. I'm gonna keep on walking, see if there's anything else. Nope, just a dead end. How convenient. 
All right, so I'll just go over here for a bit. I'm just walking around to see if I'm able to find any other crews that can add, just to see what's going on. Aha, you see? It is so good to be nosy. Oh no, I regret being nosy. I totally regret this. A death totem. Great. I basically, with my glitched out lamp, basically witness a possible death. And what's this one? What the hell is this? A framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952. Their plague says that all 12 miners survived. There were 30 clocking cards from the mine. The Miracle Men. The successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of 5th January 1952. So I guess they had time to take a picture before they started eating everyone else's asses at that point. Damn, this is not a good look at all. This is not the vibes. I need to get the I need to get the hell out of this place. Like this right here, I feel the bad juju. I really do. And I don't like it at all. I really don't. And Mike, he's just here casually walking como si na? Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game this so much because now we're in the fucking basement. And you know, mad bullshit happens in the fucking basement. Fuck me, man. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, let's go. Of course, locked. But I bet I can move this, right? I mean, don't make too much noises, but whatever. Oh, you idiot. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Mikey, you stupid! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Whoa, there's a camera in the hot tub. And that's the clown guy. Hey, yo. So you mean to tell me the clown guy has all the access to the cameras of the house. So he's been watching vegan Sam take a little dippy dip in the hot tub. Get hey, the hell out of here, it's bro. Locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. I know this is not the vibes. Not the vibes at all. My goodness. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Like yeah, dead bodies. Yes, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. So I guess we're going in here now. Look, an axe. The axe. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. This is the axe that was missing back in the beginning of episode one. Oh my god. Someone deliberately placed that there. Someone put that there on purpose. 
An axe stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Oh, shut up. My God. I can't stand this game. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.